Well, we've got an active few days of weather ahead. We've already seen some of those scattered sprinkles today, and you are going to wind up seeing a couple of more of those as we head into the afternoon. Don't be fooled by the sunshine moving in right now. It's not going to amount to anything measurable, but tomorrow morning is a different chance, and that comes before a big time warm up as we get into next week. Now, most of our cloud cover is quickly moving its way out to the east. Notice that right there. A little bit of blue sky already working its way in as temperatures climb into the low 60s. I think this blue sky and sunshine will help bump us up to that 70 degree mark later on today because for now, we're pretty far short of it. 57 in Coeur d'Alene, 55 in Sandpoint. We're at 61 in Spokane, mid 60s in Pullman and Moscow, and mid to upper 60s out in central Washington. And as we get into the afternoon, that's when our temperatures will really start to climb. 71 in Spokane is our high, upper 60s for North Idaho. I mean, it's a similar story in Deer Park, 71 as well, mid 70s in Moses Lake, 79 in Richland. We are keeping a close eye on a storm moving in because that is not only bringing us our sprinkles as we head through the day today, but it's also going to be responsible for our big push of moisture as we get into tomorrow morning. For now, it's those showers that are lifting into North Idaho. Now moving out of Sandpoint, we'll see a little more generation and then up into Bonners Ferry a little later. But I think we wind up seeing another round of showers kind of sweep the region later today before we see our big push of moisture arrive early tomorrow morning. It's late tonight, early tomorrow, however you want to break it down, but I'll be up. It'll be four o'clock tomorrow morning. I'll be wide awake going, now what do I do? So I call it tomorrow morning. We'll see that rainfall, but by about 9 a.m. it winds down. By noon, the sun comes back out, and by tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at much drier conditions. Now, when it comes to that next round of showers on late Saturday into Sunday, that all stays pretty far out to our west. And the reason is a big old ridge of high pressure builds in. I'll let you know what that means for us in just a second. Let's talk rain. About a tenth of an inch in Spokane, about two tenths in Coeur d'Alene, about a quarter of an inch up in Sandpoint. You move into central Washington, not quite as much moisture. You're in the rain shadow of the Cascades. It's just the way it goes. About a tenth of an inch in Pullman and Moscow, about two tenths in St. Mary's. Today it's that chance of sprinkles. Tomorrow, rain in the morning ends by about mid morning by noon. It's sunny and we start drying out in time for all those graduations. Sunday, nothing but sunshine as temperatures climb into the mid 80s and then we stay there as we head into next week. Best chance of rain comes Tuesday with some isolated thunderstorms.